I'm Werner Stuhl and I've been working with the FAP project, uh, managing the Vietnam component for the first three years of the project. And as part of the final workshop, we've been talking about scaling out. And I've been given the task to sort of summarize out of the World Forum. Um, what, what we've talked about very much was uh, talking about the starting point of scaling out. What are we actually going to, what are we scaling out? And we've everybody agreed that we do need a success story, which uh, is a successful technology, maybe a process, which at a particular site has really provided a benefit for farmers, has provided, has excited people, and people see potential for many other farmers to also take advantage of, of, of that success story. Um, the question then from there comes, well, if we're scaling out to a larger scale, where do we scale out? Where to do we scale out? It's not going to be appropriate everywhere, although there may be different options. It won't be, won't be everywhere. So there has to be the question of you know, who's responsible for actually deciding where this gets scaled out to. And then there is a big question of who's responsible for the scaling out? Who's responsible for facilitating that process? And, and how, how do we do it? What is the process? Um, everybody agreed that there was no fixed methodology for, for doing this, but there were some guiding principles and some, some factors which actually had to fall into place. When we start scaling out, we're moving into a, into a new sphere. We've, we have to involve many, many more stakeholders, many more actors. Uh, everybody agreed on that. It's not just a technology, but it's a process. It comes in with, with private sector, it comes in with, with cattle, certainly with trading, uh, comes in with input supplies and many, many, many things which have to fall into, way, into, into place, also credits and, and many, many other things. So in order to, to do that, we do need political support. We need a lot of support for the idea of, of doing this. Uh, so there has to be very clearly, in, in many countries, there will have to be good government support. There may be excitement from NGO sector and from other people who also want to, want to, to, to do this. One area which we talked a lot about is that we do need uh, to build a lot of capacity for many, many different things. The capacity for targeting, where to, where to move a project, capacity for facilitating this multi and bringing together and facilitating these big stakeholder platforms, bringing those people together. And uh, very often this will be uh, the task of an extension service, but it could also be an NGO and it could be a traders who are doing that as, a, as part of their, their business plan. There is a big role for, for media and communication in getting the story out, in building consensus that this is something worthwhile doing. So there is many, many aspects to it and there is probably not, a, not just one, one way of doing it, but there are many ways. Uh, a couple of things we've talked about which are, which are really important is that in bringing different stakeholders together, there's a special skill in some ways. And those stakeholders who do this really have to be motivated. They have to have some motivation and somehow that all has to come together and somebody has to facilitate that. So the, somehow the chemistry of the different, of the key stakeholders has to fit. If that's not working then it becomes very, very difficult.